Here we're going to review um, how to make a, a whole level in Blender quickly. So just some Blender tricks. Alright, so to start, file, new, reload startup file, just to make sure it's all the, the basic thing. Right click on the cube, delete, okay. You can delete this too. It's a light. We're not, we're not, we're just modeling. We're not making lighting and animations or anything. So now we're going to do add mesh plane. Um, and we're going to go into edit mode, like here, you can click this, or you can just press tab, so it changes to edit mode. Um, and now we're going to make this a lot bigger, because right now it's really the size of a player. So, um, you press S and X, and then you can, you can scale it, but what you could also do is, and that would scale it on this red line, the, the x-axis. You can also scale it by a number, which is kind of what I want to do. So S, X, and I'm going to type 50, enter, and now it's that big. I'm going to do the same on the green axis. S for scale, Y, uh, 50, enter. So now we have a pretty big plane, and I'm just going to dice it up a bit so that we can we can easily edit it. Uh, so that's going to be um, do the uh, face select down here. Right click and now press W, subdivide, and over here to the left uh, you can do the number of cuts and we're going to do ten, I guess. So from here. Uh, first, I'm going to make an outside wall. Actually, yeah, we're, so click on down here, I uh, click the edge selector, and we're going to actually select all around the outside edge. And you, whoops, and you can do that by holding Alt. So if I right click here and hold Alt and right click, it'll try to go as far as it can. And then if I still hold shift and alt around we can shift and alt at the same time we can select a bunch now I'm gonna do E for extrude and it's going to bring this up although it's a little crazy so I want to extrude in the Z axis so press Z and now it's locked onto a good way to do it so now I just made some some walls so we won't fall off or something and then left click and it confirms it so now from the inside, uh, face select again, and I'm just going to kind of hold shift and just kind of make a maze, I guess. So that's more or less sort of interesting, I think. So once you've selected a bunch of faces, just do E. This will bring them up. And then left click to confirm. And you know, you can really just tweak. Uh, there's actually a lot of little weird little things you can do. Um, you know, you could select uh, just this these guys up here. I could press E. Whoops. Oh yeah, that works too. And just, I don't know, shift it over. Who knows, who knows what you want to do. Another E and shift this over. Now we have almost like a bridge, I guess. Some platforms. Press R and you can twist stuff around and kind of distort it. Um, yeah, and of course there's everything on the left here. If you you can really experiment and and really go crazy. Um, you know E again and then left click. Now S. You know make this bigger. E again. Left click. Uh, now I'm going to select this and press W, subdivide, like we saw before. I'm going to make a few more cuts. I'm going to select just you know, a bunch of uh, random faces here. I'm going to E again and scale it tinier. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff, but this is good enough. Now once we've done this, um, just save the Blender file as before really anywhere, but I'm just going to save it in my, my project. 
Unity usually can't understand a .blend file, but we need it to edit it later. So I'm going to call it Labyrinth. Now to get this into Unity, you do File, Export, FBX. Um, go to the left here. We only need Mesh because there's no animation, no lighting. Um, and in your project, your Assets Meshes folder, which uh, yeah, if you don't have, just to go back into Unity now. Um, in Assets, you should have a, a folder called Meshes. If not, right-click, Create Folder, Meshes. And then go into that. And this is just where you're going to export to. So find that in uh, from Blender from here. And for me, it's there. Labyrinth FBX and Export. So now from Unity, it might take a second to convert it to a file Unity can look at. Um, so we have our labyrinth and we can click it in, but now it's comically small. Uh, it's really quite small. Uh, so you click left click here and just the scale factor is off. So Unity and Blender don't always know how to perfectly communicate and just click somewhere, apply. And now we actually have the, the labyrinth is, is in our world. Uh, I'm going to actually delete this. Okay, so we don't need this plane anymore. I'm going to delete it so we only have our player. Now I'm going to put in labyrinth. I'm going to make the labyrinth at 0, 0, 0. Um, the player I'm going to raise up. Where are we? I don't know. Oh wow, this is actually quite a bit larger than I thought it would be. Um, okay, well in that case, I'm going to go back into Labyrinth. I'm going to make the scale factor 0 0.3, make 0 0.2, 0 0.2, enter. Left click, apply. Maybe it'll be less crazy now. Yeah, it seems a little more reasonable. Okay, so you'll just have to play with that. Now one problem, uh, even though it looks like it's there, if I press play, I am going to just fall right through the floor. Because right now it's just a renderer. So left click the labyrinth. Um, the, you can see here mesh, mesh renderer. Um, but we don't have a collider. We need to do a mesh collider. So it just use, uses exactly what you see to collide with it. If you make a really complicated model, that's going to be a problem. Uh, for, but you might want to kind of cheat later on and, and do simpler colliders. But for now, we can just collide with the whole thing. And you press play, and there you go, we got our level. And I'm in a labyrinth. <laughs>